Steve and I are making some summer sausage with the, a large stuffer. We got a 30 pound stuffer and we're running the foot control for it, the electric foot control. So we've loaded the stuffer again and I've got a fresh casing on there. You step on the pedal and here it comes. So no cranking, just go for it. It's silent. Water pressure is coming from the kitchen sink. And uh, this is a little summer sausage for us. And when she's done, she'll pan around and show you the uh, cooler of sausage we've made so far. Okay, as we get close to the end, we just step on the pedal and give this a little clicky. And that. Shuts the water supply off and opens the drain, drops any back pressure. And Steve puts on a hog ring. Alrighty, wipes that baby down. Now load another casing. So keep running there if you can. Okay. One of the tricks on casings is if you really struggle to get them on. First off, this is a little air eliminator that goes on the tube. So any air that's captured in the meat uh, has a way to get out rather than be inside your sausage. A paper towel makes any casing go on a lot easier for traction. So then I just pull it up so the air has a place to get out. Step on the foot pedal and that's a stop start. It has a relay that closes the drain valve and opens the inlet and uh, here comes the water. The water's coming off the kitchen sink. This piston on a six inch version of this stuffer, a 30 pounder, is coming down with 50, no, 1,750 pounds of force. So it's got lots of power and I can stuff those tight. Look how nice and tight those casings are. These are 30 inches, they're long ones, but my smoker's tall enough to take them. Okay. Okay, so the little indicator light's telling me that it's in off position. When I step on the pedal, the green light turns green, so I know that the water's coming into the back of the stuffer. I just put a little pressure here to get a nice tight casing. And that's water from having soaking those casings that you see. The water dripping out so water that was inside the casing.